Hello and welcome to the Thursday, January 9th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And just a day after Mozilla released Firefox 72, Mozilla found it necessary to release yet another update for Firefox 72.0.1. This update fixes a single critical flaw. It's a type confusion in the EinMonkey just-in-time compiler. These just-in-time compilers have had a lot of issues, uh, quite complex, but they're trying to accomplish here. And the reason they sort of pushed out this update so quickly was that this vulnerability is already exploited in targeted attacks in the wild. So that's why you may see this minor update for Firefox updating to 72.0.1. Trend Micro found three applications in the Google Play Store that took advantage of CVE 2019-2215. This was a vulnerability in Binder, the inter-process communication on Android and allowed for privilege escalation. It was fixed by Google in October, but these applications actually started showing up in the Google Play Store as far back as March according to Trend Micro. This vulnerability has been exploited in some targeted attacks. So kind of interesting to, to have applications in the Play Store exploiting this vulnerability a few months ahead of it, actually sort of being publicly known and patched. This vulnerability has been used by the NSO group, which is also known sort of as the Sidewinder APT in some circles. So Trent Micro suggests that NSO group was the one or one of their customers, NSO group heavily sells uh, malware as well, uh, has uh, placed uh, these applications in the Google Play Store in order to infect targets. The applications themselves are not really all that terribly remarkable. They appear to be functional. One is called Camaro, which is sort of a camera application, kind of interesting file crypt manager. It promises a password protected file manager. And then finally, call cam, which is sort of a simple video conferencing kind of application. The first two applications, Camaro and File Grip Managers, are the actual dropper that download the additional DEX file, and also communicate with the command control server, and then they actually launch the call cam application on the device. And if you have a vulnerable device, which really means it would be a Google Pixel in this case, or uh, Nokia or LG V20 and a couple others are vulnerable here according to Trend Micro, then your device ends up getting rooted using this approach escalation flaw. Well, and if you are considering yourself a target and you are afraid of uh, people spying on you, then you probably heard of Tails, uh, the secure Linux distribution. Well, a major update was released version 4.2. Overall, general updates to the browser, email client, and the like, uh, but it also will make future upgrades easier and added a couple additional tools, in particular, the PDF redact tools that uh, make it easier to take a PDF and strip metadata before you actually pass them on. And Checkpoint's research team took a closer look at TikTok, the social media video platform that has gotten a lot of press recently. And uh, what they found is, well, a number of vulnerabilities, no big surprise here, that can be used uh, together to actually take over accounts. Starts out with very simple stuff where you can sort of send yourself a link to the TikTok application to make it easier to install it on your phone. Trick here is, well, uh, someone can send uh, this uh, to 
any mobile phone number and can actually modify the link that's being sent. So this will show up as a legitimate SMS message from TikTok, but the link may go to a malicious location, which could actually be, and that's sort of one of the points here, within TikTok itself, but then due to cross-site request forging issues in the application, clicking this link, this legitimate link to TikTok itself will actually trigger things like, for example, account resets and the like. So that can then be used to take over the account. Uh, pretty straightforward vulnerabilities, uh, very classic sort of web application issues. If you are a developer, you may want to take a close look here uh, to learn from their mistakes and hopefully you already know these lessons. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.